So now we thought we would give you a bit of a renovation update, starting out in our upstairs utility room. We had one regret. <laughs> Getting cabin fever at Bye -bye. home. I think, you know, every so often, it's not the end of the world. Quickly do a speed clean. Off out for dinner with friends. He just says he just doesn't agree with him. Appalachian sunrise meets my skin. Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in. Golden, golden. I'll follow only golden, 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 golden things. in spring rainbow trout and hummingbird wing golden I'll follow the golden 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 things gold hair <laughs> Welcome back to my channel and to another vlog today. I thought I would film a day in the life, but also give you a bit of a renovation update as well, because so much has been happening around the house. Our utility room is nearly there. So I wanted to show you guys that and just like generally update on a few home things. All the boys are currently at football. It's actually the end of the season, but Fraser's playing a friendly um, and all the boys wanted to go and watch. And it's funny that when I found out I was having a third boy, I remember thinking, oh my gosh, like we're gonna have Sunday football now, like forever. But it's actually really nice sometimes because it's just a friendly, like obviously sometimes I go and I actually love the whole like soccer mum thing. Um, but today it's not like a big game and it's quite nice to actually have a little bit of time to myself. I'm gonna take Kiki for a walk. I might sort a few things out around the house and I also wanted to show you some flowers that I was just about to arrange in what will be our kitchen very soon. The kitchen work starts next week. So very soon we're gonna have like an island for the flowers to go on, which is really exciting. Um, so let me show you that first. So hopefully you guys can see me okay, but this is what has just arrived from Freddie's Flowers and what I'm going to arrange now. And if you don't know what Freddie's Flowers is, they are a flower subscription box so that each week, fresh seasonal flowers arrive at your door in a box like this and then you can arrange them. It also comes with a really nice little guide which actually tells you how to arrange them and tips as well. Also comes with flower food and they're just gorgeous. These are actually the flowers that I received and arranged last week. They're still going really strong, but you guys might know I'm not like the best gardener, but I love fresh flowers and arranging them is really nice. It's just nice to have like 10 minutes to myself and then enjoy having them there all week. Um, and Freddie's Flowers have also said that my followers can have an amazing discount code. So I did wanna share that with you. If you use the link in my description and the code Emily, you'll get 50% off your first box of Freddie's Flowers and a free starter set. And what comes in the starter set is so good, it's well worth doing. So with your first delivery of flowers, you will get the classic vase, which is this one here. It's perfect to have your flowers in. And then with your second delivery of flowers, you'll get a cut down vase, which is what is in this box here. And I'll show you guys. Yeah, so that way, after you've had your first box of flowers for a week, and maybe they need a bit of freshening up, you might want 
to take any stems out that have seen better days, cut them out, change the water, etc. You can move them to the cut down vase and then use the classic vase for your new box of flowers. And they're really lovely quality, such a nice home addition on their own. It's really good value for money because I think the big vase is worth 25 pounds and the cut down vase is worth 20 pounds as well. So definitely check it out. I'll put the link in the description. The flowers are gorgeous. It's such a nice company. All the packaging is recyclable. Even the little flower food is completely natural and you can recycle that in the compost bin. They just kind of think of everything. So if you want to have fresh flowers in your house and you don't actually want to go and source them yourself, it's a really good option. The subscription as well is completely flexible. You can cancel it at any time. It's really easy to just pause it on their website if you're going away for a week, etc. Um, so anyway, I'll put those links in the description and now I'm just gonna kind of like switch everything over and arrange my new box of flowers. also just wanted to mention that Freddie's Flowers sent me two of the same arrangements so that you guys could kind of see the lifespan over the course of a week and how they change but if you subscribe to Freddie's Flowers you will actually get a completely different box of flowers each week. Okay so I'm all done now so this is my new box of flowers all arranged and then this is like the cut down that I did. It's crazy to think these little um, peonies start out like this and then in a few days they're gonna look more like this. See, I'm gonna find a place for these. salad it's so nice from m and um and caleb is on the trampoline dogs running around you know usual stuff yeah it's such a beautiful day today this is my salad here so nice and kiki's friend has just come around he wants some crab don't you <laughs> this kiki fraser's back from football so he's playing football yeah it's the warm down <laughs> It's ice lolly weather. How can you do that? What flavour is that? Bubble gum. And that doesn't hurt? No. That hurts me. I've got a twister. Obviously I'm holding the camera so like, <laughs> I'm actually not doing that. I'm doing that because I'm you're, holding the camera. You're not sunbathing. I am. But it's awkward because I've got to hold a camera up whilst doing it. It's so beautiful. We just need some sun lounges. Yeah. Father's we're gonna get, Day. We're going to get two. Oh. Shall I? Just one for Father's Day. So now we thought we would give you a bit of a renovation update starting out in our upstairs utility room. If you didn't know, we decided to move the utility room upstairs because you get dressed upstairs, you get undressed upstairs. It seems crazy to like be always dragging it down the stairs. And because we were like redoing the whole house, we had the opportunity. 
So it's like quite a small room, but it's going to have everything in it that we need. Um, and as you can see, like the, I think they call it like the carcass of the cupboards have started to go in and then he's going to come back next week and finish it. So we got these from Howden's. We just wanted like a really light, bright, um, like set of units and we're gonna have a sink here and someone actually messaged me on Instagram was like why do you need a sink in there but for me really it's to soak any stains it's to wash football boots um, and also we are gonna have a coffee machine up here so we're gonna have like drinking water um, so we can make a coffee upstairs if we want to as well there's loads of storage for cleaning products under the sink and above as well that we're gonna have space for all the like, what's it called? Laundry detergent and stuff. And then you can see where the washing machine's gonna go, the tumble dryer as well. And then at the end, we're gonna like jig that around because we do wanna have like an ironing board in that bit. Oh, and this room is also next door to the airing cupboard, which is where our laundry baskets are. It's also where we keep all the sheets and towels and stuff like that. So it's really convenient that it's next to this room. Um, and there's also a nice big window in here. So it's really bright. I don't know if it will look bright coming from that way because it's backlit, but we had to get like a frosted window because it's the side of the house, but it still lets loads of light in, which is good. We're also gonna have two towel rads in here. You can see the plumber's gonna put that in uh, so we can dry clothes on them. And we're also gonna put some hooks up so that we could like hang sheets on this wall as well, like over the radiators. Um, we've also got hanging space in the airing cupboard and we've got a well, we will have a balcony upstairs. So we were like, we could even hang some clothes out there if we wanted to, but we live in England. It's not always like the right weather for that. Um, but yeah, we're excited. Oh, and I should probably say about the floor. We got like, it looks like wood floor, but it is in fact tiles. Um, so it's gonna be really easy to keep clean and looks good. And I think one of the biggest worries if you do a upstairs laundry room is like the worry of leaks because if it does leak it goes through like two floors rather than one but we're going to get a leak detector and it's really clever we actually had one in our old house so if the water how does it even know if the air is Moist, damp yeah. yeah it texts you calls you emails you it's really clever so we'll have that for reassurance and i think you've got a shower tray as well for under no just like a vibration mat more than anything than oh yeah sitting. that was yeah. it where is that we could That's show that in the hall can I just add, the reason why these radiators are coming out of the floor is because along all along there is a steel beam behind there, not that we've put in from the previous build. Yeah, and Matt sourced this. He did a bit of research into like having a laundry room upstairs. And one thing to consider is obviously like the noise when it's spinning around. So we've got like this, this vibration mat. So this will go underneath the washing machine. And we've already been thinking about clever things we can do to minimize noise. Obviously, if it's going during the day, normally we're out or downstairs anyway, so that'd be fine. But you can also set timers on washing machines so we can almost like set it to start like 5 a.m. before we wake up and then we can wake up, put it out to dry and stuff. Um, so yeah, so that's gonna sit under the washing machine. But yeah, I'm super excited that we won't be having to like trek everything up and down anymore. Um, so yeah, it's a bit of a dream this room. We've also got like a bar going in along oh, yeah, here, like a hanging rail, like just to hmm. hang stuff up, haven't we? Yeah, maybe I'll put the inspo so. pick up. Got really nice tap going in here as well. Yeah. Just going back to the design in here. Originally, it was designed that we'd have like an L shape in here, um, but we actually sort of did a sort of bit of jigging around and worked out that it wasn't quite quite working that way. Um, and also, we looked at like stacking the washing machine and the dryer to make for more space. But actually, we just wanted as much countertop space as we could get because then you can have those pull out things that go like above the washing machine, but mm. just for folding laundry and because it's quite a narrow room, there was sort of no real point in doing that. So, we just wanted to make that space as big as we could. So, we sort of compromised on the width of this room. So it's actually only 1.5 meters, but it meant the other side of it is our ensuite, and it meant we had made space for our bath mm -hmm. um, in that ensuite. So we think it's going to work really well as well. Yeah, and how much time do you spend in there? Like? Oh, that's it. It's purely just to come in and wash and dry the clothes. But um. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And then this is our bedroom and this is where the bath is going. Imagine. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, so obviously 
The, our bedroom itself is all decorated. It's pretty much ready for carpeting, but we don't want to do the carpet until the ensuite is done because obviously builders are still like coming through every day. So obviously everything's arrived for the bathroom, <laughs> hence why this bath is in the middle of the room. Um, so they're just going to start putting that in, I think like soon, aren't they? Just start yeah. doing the ensuite. So yeah, this is the bath. To go in here. You can kind of see it drawn out on the floor. Shower tray's in and all the plumbing's been run. The shower's gonna go there, shower head, and the attachment there. So it'll all suddenly start taking shape. Got the Double base in there, toilet's gonna go in there, see the waste. Um, yeah, and we've worked out the perfect height for the taps for the bath to then go underneath. Then when this bath's gonna be raised slightly from this floor, so then I know we keep saying, so you can sit and look out there for the five minutes you do get to have a bath. Oh, and I was gonna say, we had one regret in the boys' shower, didn't we? So we've actually oh, well, improved with it with this one. Yeah. So when you get in the boys' shower, like you have to like reach in to turn the water on, and it always like gets you, even when it's like cold. And it's first world problem. It's that yeah. It's not like a big problem. But then we were like, if we're doing it all again, you might as well get the controls yeah, in the so right place. Yeah. So you're gonna get in the so shower. So you sort of there. like open it here. Is this it? Turn yeah. it on. But the head will be there. So it's yeah. not gonna get you. Little things like that, it's just going to be like... Love mistakes. Sorry, boys. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> you get right. a cold arm. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and then as you may know, our bedroom comes out onto what will be a balcony very soon. Uh, we keep this locked so the kids can get out here. But the actual like glass, it's called a balustrade, isn't it? Cut is coming in three weeks time. So hopefully when the bedroom is done, that will be in as well. So it'll be a bit more secure, but it's going to come from about here out and then along to the other side of the door so it'll be so lovely especially when it's like this we could just come out and like chill i mean it might be wishful thinking but taking the view it's really cute as well we get like deer on this field and you can sometimes see them so yeah shout at the kids <laughs> So now we're going to pop out to the park for a little bit. It was getting a bit like, what's the word? Cabin fever. Getting cabin fever at I home. Um, so we thought we'd just go out, run around a little bit, go to the park. Um, and we're actually leaving Kiki at home because she is so tired because she actually went out for a walk this morning. Um, so yeah, we're just going to go oh, have nice. a climb, have a hangout for a little bit. Actually, this has always been like, something I've done as a mum like if things ever get a bit like what's the word tense at home then right we're all going out like even when I had two under the age of three sometimes I would even just put us in the car and like drive around and then like come home and it seemed to help um anyway I don't know if anyone else does that <laughs> sure they do do you think yeah. I used to I used to think oh, I wish there was a drive through coffee place we don't really have them here do we but like, you know, you're like exhausted as a mum and you're just like, oh, I just need to get out. Go out in your pyjamas. Yeah. Hey, darling. Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling. We could get out of town. See the beautiful world around. Wanna see it now Pack our bags and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the country Okay, so we're back from the park now and I'm just gonna make the kids some dinner. Matt and I are actually going out for dinner, which is very rare and we're really excited about it. Um, we're going to a Chinese place. But I said to the kids, what do you guys want for dinner? That you can have anything you want. And of course they want pancakes with bacon for dinner. This is something I do like 
probably like once every month uh, but they absolutely love it obviously it is a breakfast but they love to have it for dinner and I think you know every so often it's not the end of the world it makes my life easier as well so I'm just gonna make up the pancake batter and I'm gonna put the bacon in the air fryer so with maple syrup maybe some fruit and that's what they're having for dinner yes I'm just making up the batter the same way I always do maybe I'll link the recipe in the description and then I'm gonna put the bacon in the air fryer there's actually a bacon setting on our air fryer so it does it for like the right amount of times so this one here um, so I'll turn that on and then I'm using our camp stove this has actually just been amazing during the renovation we've used these two things so so much Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Baby, don't you understand That we only get one life I wanna make it count, honey Come on now and take my hand So it's a bit later on now and I've actually been hiding upstairs in Caleb's room just doing some work on a YouTube video. Whenever I work at the moment I tend to come in here because it's the furthest spot away from all the building work. It's also really warm in here and obviously I don't have an office at the moment or even like a downstairs to our house so I tend to work and film in here. Um, and you're also probably wondering why my hair looks like this. I've actually just blow dried and pin curled it because we're going out for dinner tonight with two of our friends um so i thought i would like make the effort whenever i do my hair like this it really holds a curl so much longer it probably be still like curly tomorrow as well so maybe i'll show you what it looks like when i take it out before i get ready i'm going to quickly do a speed clean because matt's mum is coming over and the house is a tip Isn't in my birthday yet, cause I gotta say You're looking like a gift for me Wrapped up nice and neat, baby Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Cause I got this list of my favorite things You could be the part where it all begins You could be the first and the second and the third And the rest of it Baby, I will show you how you can catch my vibe And right away I so much time Looping in the blurry lights Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Cause I got this list of my favorite things You could be the part where it all begins You could be the first and the second and the third And the rest of get ready we literally have 20 minutes before we have to go but because I have done this earlier it will make it all a lot quicker so I'm just gonna take my pink curls out I feel like a 1950s mum whenever I wear these um, but I'm also gonna film it for TikTok on my camera which is just here I find it really difficult because like obviously YouTube's like this way 
and like TikTok and Instagram are this way, but sometimes when I'm doing things, I want to film it for like both platforms. So I hope you don't mind. And also, if you do like TikTok, definitely come over and follow me. I'm trying to make like more of a effort over there. I actually really like TikTok. I'm like a big user myself. Um, so I thought I'd start making some more videos. So I'll put a link in the description to my TikTok if you like that kind of thing. I know it's not for everyone. Um, but yeah, let me just take this out um, and show you what it looks like. Just a few bobby pins in each curl and then maybe I'll show you like what the finished look looks like as well. Yeah, so this is how it comes out. And it will obviously drop a little bit. It's not gonna. Yeah, so I've just done my makeup and they've already dropped a little bit, but you can see like there's lots of volume. And I've just put on this little play suit from Zara. So if you guys can see that, hold on, let me show you. It looks like a dress, but it is in fact a little play suit and it's really, really comfortable. I wore it when we went on holiday. Um, so yeah, anyway, we're off out for dinner with friends. Right, so we're on our way to get our friends. Matt is the designated driver tonight. As always. And most nights, to be honest. Matt's not a massive drinker. I think I've said it on this channel before. Um, but he just doesn't, he just says, it just doesn't agree with him. Like, he never enjoys it, do you? And that is why I married him. No, just kidding. Basically. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It was a big factor. Uh, yeah, I was like, oh, hold on a minute. Designated driver forever. No, just kidding. Um, in her house. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we're picking up. She's actually my best friend from school. We've been friends since I was 14 years old, since I moved to this country. How long ago? A very long time ago. I'm 13, not going to say because yeah. then you can work out how old I am. I'm just kidding. Um, and then she and her husband have been together since they were 16 years old. So they like, I basically know him. Like I've known him as long as I've known her, basically. And Matt and him have a bit of a bromance going on, don't you? So it's really nice because obviously we're best friends, and then they get on really well as well. Um, so yeah, we're just on our way to get them and. If they're brave, I'll show you them. If they want to be on camera. If not, I'll show you my food. I'll turn your mic down. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 